In this video, we are going to continue with quadratic equations and we're still going to focus on the ones involving search. You will find this on page 12. I just want to make sure. Yes. You will find this on page 12 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now, let's look at a little bit of a more difficult example. So these two roots and there's two terms underneath each root. Now the first thing, isolate one root first, just one. Okay, so we take the first one, doesn't matter, it's positive, take the other one over. Now square both sides. Now this is all right, this um, is just going away, but just be careful with the square. Can you still remember how I say square the first one? multiply the two with each other, multiply two, that's four, and square the last one. And remember, as soon as you square a square root, it's just the normal. And that's what happened there. Okay, so now I'm just going to end up with, uh, let's just see, I have two, I, I think I just ordered it a little bit here. So can I just show you, I have that 4y minus 4, uh, okay, this one cancel with this one. Do you see that? Okay. And then if this y, I didn't show you that step, so please don't get confused. If this y go over, then it's 2y minus y, and that's why I get 1y. And then it's just that one left. And there is that root part that's left. So I just didn't put in that step, but don't let it confuse you. Now, what I must always do is as soon as I see, okay, I'm done, I, but there's still a square root, I square again. So I just take that hole and I square and I square. So I get 16 and you know now how to work with roots. So it's just 4 times 4, 16. And as soon as I square that part, the square root will just uh, go away. And don't forget, you're short, square the first term, multiply the two terms with each other times 2 and square the last one. Okay, and then just, okay, again I'm skipping a little bit of steps. Uh, so this is going to be 16y and if I multiply this and then I'm taking it over and then I will just simplify everything to one side and this is what I got there. Okay, so I, I just showed you. Sometimes when my space was not, I got this and then I take it over. So it's plus 65, uh, 64 plus 1, it's 65. And uh, uh, negative 60, negative 2 is negative 18. And then I factorize. And then don't forget your test. So if I put it in the first one, one the right hand side equals 2. So it's a solution. And... If I put the 5, it's again 2, it's also a solution. So therefore, it's having two answers. It's having y is equal to 30 and y is equal to 5 are solutions to the equation. So it can also happen that you have both solutions to the equation. Okay, just because sometimes when you see fractions, you, you struggle a little bit. So I'm going to gear a little bit up in this video and I'm going to give you number B. So stop the video. Try it on your own, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. So let's start. Number B. Okay, first I'm going to write it. Don't let fractions, especially on this level. There's rules, you know the rules from long, and just follow your rules. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do... I don't like fractions, so I, I always try to get rid of it, and I see luckily this is the same. So it's almost like I'm getting an LCM, and what is my LCM? It's 3y minus 1, do you see? So basically, make everything fractions, and multiply with that LCM. Uh, so it's square root 3y minus 1. Uh, multiply square root 3y minus 1 and oh okay, I'm just going to take it the other way um, multiply square root 3y minus 1 okay so basically if I'm doing this I'm going to get okay let's let's see this is going to cancel do you see this is over 1 so this will cancel so I'm ending just up with the 6 now, this is exactly the same that you multiply, so it's almost like you square it. So you will just get 
Okay, I can even put it in just to help you a little bit, but it's not necessary. Do you see? It's two times plus square root 3y minus 1. But that will just be the inside. Do you see? And I'm so glad I, I put in search because now you understand it better. Okay. Now again, I have a root and I don't like it. So I will square again, but I first have to isolate. I leave it on this side. Why do I leave it on this side? Because it's positive. If it was negative, I, should, I will take it over. I always try to find the easiest row. So with this I take over. So if I'm going to have 6 minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 3y minus 1, and there is my root. So if I simplify this, I'm going to get 7 minus 3y, and that is 3y minus 1. And I do again the same. I square and I square. Whatever I do on one side, I do on the other side. Okay. Now, do your short. Can you see how, how uh, so I square the first term. That's 49. I multiply the 2 with each other. That's negative 21. If I multiply it with 2, I will get negative 42. Why? So it's negative 21, y, multiplied to negative 42, y. So, and this will always be because negative 3, 3y times negative 3y will be positive 9y squared. And that will be equal to 3y minus 1. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take, as soon as I see square root, I take everything to one side. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to, I'm already trying to order it a little bit. So this one comes over. Uh, the 49 was there. The 1 comes over. And so, so this is going to be 9y squared. And this is going to be negative 45y. And that is going to be 50. And that's going to be zero. Okay, and, and usually it, it will factorize, usually. It's not to say always. Sometimes, you, but you can go for the formula. Okay, but I think, in, especially because of the testing, I think it will be able to factorize. So this is again, you like, I like to call my group. So let's call, this is group A. Otherwise go back to ordinary, then you know what I'm talking about. So it's going to be five and 10, it's plus. And I'm going to say 3 and 3. So if I'm, this is 30 and it's plus. So plus 15. Oh, excellent. It's 45. Just concentrate on the 45. Sides are the same and both is negative, negative. And that's y, y. So I'm ending with 3y minus 5 and 3y minus 10. And that's equal to 0. Okay. So I get that 3y minus 5 equals 0 or 3y is equal to 10. Oh, yes. <laughs> I could have already taken it over. Okay, doesn't matter. It's unnecessary. So I think I'm going to be a little bit spare a step there. Because this is equal to 0, this is so, this is equal to 5. So y is equal to 5 over 3 or y is equal to 10 over 3. Okay, and now, and this can simplify, uh, let's just see, this is 5 over 3, and this is going to be 10 over 3, that's correct. And now I do my check. Let's make it yellow first. And write for yourself check, then you know, always the original. Now that was the original. So we're just going to end up with a few fractions here. Not a problem. So if I do the check, I'm going to say 6, and now it's going to be 3, and y is 5 over 3. Uh, 5 over 3 minus 1. And this is going to be 3, 5 over 3, minus 1, plus 1. And then I'm going to end up with 6, 
we did over one, so it's going to be this three is cancel, <clears throat> so it's five minus one, so it's the square root of four. Uh, let's see, yes, it's going to be the square root. I just want to see that I'm not incorrect with that. Uh, five one, no, it's going to be correct. Five minus one is square root of four. And that is going to be, it's going to cancel again. So it's going to be again 5 minus 1, it's 4 plus 1. So this is going to be 6 over 2. And this is going to be 2 plus 1. So it's going to be 3. So 3 is equal to 3. So 5 over 3, uh, it's, it's going to be a solution. So therefore, uh, 5 over 3, 5 over 3, let's make it x, especially in this level I like to write very nice, x equals, uh, no it's not x, look up, y is equal to 5 over 3 is the solution, but now I must test the next one, okay, again write down my formula, I'm going to make it another color, 6, the original one, okay, and now I'm going to substitute 10 over 3, and then I'm going to go on, And this is going to be 10 minus 1 is square root 9. And this is also, 3 is cancelled, 10 minus square root 9 plus 1. So this is going to be 6 over 3 equals 3 plus 1. Ah, look what. 6 over 3, that's going to be 2. And that is going to be 4. And that's not equal. So, therefore... Uh, y is equal to, what is it, 5, 10, uh, 10 over 3 is not a solution. So let's go on. Therefore, the only solution is, and what was the only y is equal to 5 over 3 and that's how we do it.